Hi guys, today basically I actually want to talk to you about a capsule wardrobe and I believe that this silly magic number of 37, I don't believe it, it really really exists. I think you can have as many or as little things that you want but as long as you basically put your wardrobe together with kind of like you think about what you're doing. So the main thing is when you're trying to revamp your wardrobe, what you want to do is basically clear everything out, put it all on a pile on the bed and then go through it methodically. Look at every single item, does it basically fit you still? Do you still love it? Does it make you feel great? Try on as much as you can every single item that you have. Make sure you have one pair of jeans that look incredible, make you feel great and if any of the others you just don't like, just put on one pile to one side. So what you want to do is you want to create four, basically four piles. One that you know you want to keep, one that you don't know about, one that you basically know you're going to either sell or donate to charity and the other pile possibly if something needs to be altered. So then from those four piles what you basically do is put them on one side, bag up all the stuff that you basically think that you want to take to a charity shop, then go through the pile of clothes that you actually really really do like, try them on and then see if they actually will work together. Now when I mean work together, just have a look at your colours, you'll, you'll tend to find that you've actually, you'll have colours that you tend to go to when you go shopping or if you've had like your colours done by a stylist which I just really really don't believe in, I think that a lot of colours look good on everybody and like everyone can wear a red but it depends on what shade you are and a lot of the times if you wear something else on top if there's a red that you don't actually just shouldn't kind of suit you if you wear a white shirt underneath it instantly lifts it plus the fact if you've had your colours done and say if you walk into any shop and then you you think oh that's the colour that I've been told I should wear you automatically go and pick it up and you'll buy it and it might be a lumpy bumpy top that just will not flatter you one little bit so you have got to think about your shape your like the cut of things is it tailored does it look really good so that aside if you basically want to read anything about styling have a quick look at the blog because I do write a lot about um, personal styling because I've been a personal stylist for a very many um, number of years but this is all today about kind of creating a little capsule wardrobe depending on what it is high street designer doesn't matter but this is basically about teaching you to kind of know your style so what you want in your wardrobe there's key elements so every wardrobe needs a really, really, really good blazer. So this is just an old one from Zara. This will tend to work with all of these things here. So what we've got, we have a blazer. Um, we have got a crisp white shirt. This is just one from ASOS. So every wardrobe needs a really, really good white shirt. A couple of pairs of jeans. This season I'm really loving um, velvet ones, these are from Topshop, they're really great, and a dark pair of jeans. Now you want to be able to have your wardrobe so it's kind of really interchangeable, so every piece here will actually kind of work together. So we've got a lovely little jumpsuit here, this is just a River Island one, again this is quite old, this is basically stuff that I've had and I don't believe in high fashion, I believe in getting things and keeping things that you actually look and good, look good in, feel good in. So this would look really great with this Zara top, you could actually wear this over the top and actually turn this into a top and a pair of shorts with a pair of tights and boots, so that look would look very very good together. Then we've got a pair of H&M trousers here with the orange detail, you can wear that together and that again, that, that pulls one look, so that's another look you've got. Equally, the same pair of trousers with a Zara blue shirt and then this shirt would work with any of these, you could wear these together, so that would work with that, with um, with your blazer over the top, also a fancy going out top, this is just a sheer one from Zara, this would work really well if you picked yourself up a pencil skirt, so every wardrobe should have a pencil skirt, then you will need either a nice jumper or a big cardigan and this one is from Banana Republic and again this would work with your pencil skirt, it will work with the jeans, it will work with the um, velvet trousers, it will also work over these, these um, cigarette pants because you've got little black detailing in. Think about the colours, so make sure it kind of flows and it will kind of work together. This lovely sparkly top, that would look fantastic basically worn with the velvet jeans, it would look equally as good with the darker jeans and also you'll be able to wear it with the pencil skirt. 
So you start to see things sort of putting together. Then I always like to have a, a check shirt, which this is a really, really old one. It's one of my favorites. But this again, this basically can be worn with all the jeans and the pencil skirts. Back view look really great tucked in. You could get a piece of ribbon and tie it around the neck to actually give it a kind of a, a bit more of a, um, a smarter look. This leads me to my next tip. Remember I said that you want to create four piles of clothing. So you've got the pile that you definitely want to keep, that you've hung up, you've tried on, everything works together. So you're really, really happy with that. Then you've got your pile of, say, stuff that you know that you're actually going to get rid of, throw away, take to a charity shop. Bag up those items, go and put them somewhere safe, and then give it about a week or two weeks. Don't initially get rid of all the stuff because you'll have this massive clear out and then you'll panic. You'll wake up one morning and you'll think, my God, where's that jacket? Where's that top? Oh my God, I can't believe I got rid of it because you will get into that. I'm having a clear out. I've got this in my head. I'm basically gonna have a minimalist wardrobe. Then go and get those items and go through the bags once again and then reselect stuff that you actually know you really, really don't want, stuff you actually want to keep, and then you'll be able to be satisfied that you've actually done your wardrobe cleanse and your capture wardrobe properly. So unbag the whole lot, go through each bag, take out stuff that you think you might be able to work in with your wardrobe that you've actually been wearing for the last couple of weeks, because you will notice that you'll have gaps and areas in your wardrobe that you need to fill. Once you know that you need to fill them, if you've got, say, that item in a bag that you want to get rid of, and they're still kind of okay, take them out, have them in your wardrobe, maybe for um, a couple of months, and then when you find something that's maybe better quality, then repurchase it and then get rid of the item. I am all about quality, not quantity. Um, I am a fashion blogger, so I do have quite a lot, and I have got rid of quite a lot recently, and it was probably the, one of the best things I've done to actually have a wardrobe cleanse. I tend to do mine either every six months or each year. Another tip is to go through all of your underwear and your jewellery and your belts and everything you have. Basically, cleanse everything because you will find that you are, you're clinging on to things. I tend to clear out everything um, sort of like in one week. So I'll do all my clothes one like one day, then I'll basically do my shoes and my jewellery and my all my accessories. So I tend to do this um, collectively together in one week. I won't actually do it sort of split it up because I need to make sure that all like, my jewellery and my bags work with with everything I've got. Once you've actually got your capsule wardrobe, when you go shopping, you will kind of know what you've got. And it's a good idea to maybe take a picture of an item. Say if you buy something that you really, really love. Say for instance, um, you've picked up a pair of trousers like these and you've, you've tried them on in the changing room. They fit you immaculately. You think they're absolutely beautiful, but you go home and you have nothing to wear with them hang them up in a good light, take a picture of them. So the next time you're out shopping and you come across something like an orange top, you know, hang on a minute, that looks really good and you can refer back to it. I'm a big believer in taking pictures of things so you know what you've got. Um, and it's just a great way of, you know, helping you get your capsule wardrobe. Have a few wild cards as well, you know, you can have a few dresses and stuff that, that are a little bit different, but again, remember the key to the colour. If you've got a dark dress, you can add quite a lot of colour in, So, but do remember three. So if you've got orange and purple, you can add another colour, but I would tend to like add another shade of, say, a purple. I wouldn't start going for like lots of greens, lots of purple, lots of orange, because you will start to look a bit of a mess. Um, and apart from that, that's kind of like, that's the main tips. Keep it really simple, keep it fun. Fashion style is actually really, really fun. Again, I basically say that it's not about owning the latest things, it's about what suits you. Once you determine what shape you are, you're either, there's about five different categories of shapes. Once you kind of know your shape, it's a lot easier to dress yourself. Have a look at the blog. Go and have a look at all my styling advice. I tend to give a lot of advice in lots of posts that I do about fashion. Um, and I generally style people as well before photo shoots. So if you decide that you want to have your picture taken and you're worried about what you're gonna wear, you can contact me beforehand and we can sort all of that out. So it's part of my job is to 
um, make you guys look and feel really, really great. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, it's one that I've been meaning to make for practically over a year. Um, if you've liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe because I'm going to be doing more and more fashion-y things and beauty and all sorts of things about helping other people look and feel fantastic. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.